So I'm sure many of you have come across the, you know, the problem when you find a fabric and you love it, but it's just not quite what you needed. And you're like, you know, what could I do to this fabric to change it to get there? Well, I actually might have a solution for you. And in an earlier video, I showed you how to take fusible interfacing, such as this, where it kind of looks like a net, and then one side has a stickier layer that um, you know really allows it to stick to the fabric and create shapes, and then you place the heat and it can kind of hold it. Well, another way to use this fabric is to kind of create your own fabric without going totally crazy. For example, we have this stretchy um, spandex type fabric here, and there's a lot of stretch to it. Maybe you love the feel of it, you kind of like the matte texture, but the stretch really isn't gonna work for what you're designing. You wanna go ahead and you're gonna pick up your interfacing, which will have one layer that's a little more sticky, and that's the layer that you wanna add to the fabric or place down on the fabric. And you're gonna wanna put it down on the side of the fabric that's the side that you don't wanna utilize. Give it some steam. And it's great to use a powerful iron, such as the Rwanda Steam Station, that really, you know, makes sure that it stays. Otherwise, you can get places that, you know, the heat doesn't quite get there as much, and it creates a really bubbly look on the other side. But with an iron like this, you're gonna get it really smooth. So as you can see, the stretch is pretty much completely gone when you're looking at something that's stretching like this to over here. And so you've really able to kind of transform the fabric by keeping that same look of the fabric, but for, you know, if you're utilizing it for more what you're looking for. Another take on that is to do something a little more fun. Like if you wanted to kind of maybe bunch the fabric, kind of create some pleats on one side. Where you want the pleats to hold, you just add that layer of that fusible interfacing. A good press make sure it really holds it. And you could, you know, really create some fun things. For example, if this is the dress and the front part was pleated and then it kind of fanned out over the sides. And you can do a lot of fun things with that. For example, if you were going to use this as, as, you know, a piece of a dress on a waist, then you could bring it out to the side and have it more structured in the front and then more drapey and stretchy in the sides for movement and for a better fit while still keeping that structure of, you know, a well-fitted dress in the front. So you can really have a lot of fun with this fabric and create a lot of different things, but, you know, for, you can be as creative as you want or as literal as you want. I also have this example here where it's a woven fabric, has a little bit of stretch, but maybe you need something with just a little more structure. Give it a great press, and as you can see here, with a great iron, does not bubble at all. And there you have it. You lose that stretch, and you've got a lot thicker of a fabric. So there you have it, really easy ways to kind of transform the fabric to make the fabric that you're looking for. No more being stuck at the store wishing, oh, I wish they had this. You can make it yourself.